We are interested in cancer, obviously, because of the biomedical importance of the disease, but also because it teaches us about a multicellularity and the failures of the collective intelligence of cells, meaning why cells in the body war operate uh, together to form specific organs, specific anatomical structures. Why do they work hard to do those things that individual cells and unicellular organisms don't do? There is a set of communication policies among cells, which I call like a kind of cognitive glue. What it enables is for all of these cells to join together into networks, and these networks store very large pattern memories of what it is that they're supposed to be doing. So all of the cells then are aligned in that, okay, we are building this particular structure and there's information in this network about what it is that we're building. It's a liver or a kidney, a heart, whatever it is. And so the breakdown of those mechanisms results in cancer. The cancer phenotype is that individual cells disconnect from that network and then they roll back to this kind of unicellular lifestyle where the size of the goals that they can pursue instead of like big organ and tissue level goals, they become little tiny single cell goals like metabolism, you know, eat as much as you can, go wherever life is good, that kind of thing. So we study cancer as a breakdown of this collective intelligence, almost like a dissociative disorder of the morphogenetic intelligence.